Hello, and welcome to the Project Finance Modeling for Renewable Energy course. In this course, we will build the financial model for the wind and solar projects. This course is divided into four parts. In this first part, we will learn about the basics of the wind and solar projects. First, we will focus our attention on energy generation, wind and solar equipment, and wind and solar resource definitions. Next, we will look at how the energy generated by wind and solar plants is sold. We will then review the major construction contracts used in wind and solar power plant development, and we will spend some time on the operations and maintenance contract to see how such contracts benefit the project. And finally, we will review how wind and solar projects get financed. In the second part of the course, we will refresh our Excel skills and Excel refresher lessons. The objective is to get up to speed with the modeling methods we will be using in this course. We will start modeling in the third part of the course, where we will work on the renewable energy financial model where SPV pays taxes. The modeling approach that we will be taking in this course is first to get to the cash flow available for the debt service. This means that we will have to begin with modeling the necessary ingredients for CFADs, such as revenue, operating costs, and taxes. Once we get to CFADs, we can then size the construction debt so we know how much leverage we can have in the project. When we know the construction debt size, we will then work on the modeling the construction costs and funding. We will then proceed with the term loan modeling, which will take out the construction debt at the completion of the project's construction. Once we have our term loan interest payments and principal repayments, we will work on the project finance debt ratios and debt service reserve account. We will also model the shareholder loan from the project sponsors to the project. Finally, when we've got the cash outflows and inflows, we will model the project's unlevered return and the sponsor's blended equity return. In the fourth part of the course, we will focus on modeling the renewable energy project in the United States. We will introduce the U.S. renewable project's peculiarities, such as pass-through entities, tax efficiency, and tax credits, and we will then incorporate them into the financial model, where SPV does not pay taxes. We will also introduce to the important source of financing in the United States called tax equity.